Hey fam, how's it going? It's time to talk off a ween of fun. Curiouser and curiouser. Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Amy. I babble about books. I would like to say I review, but I babble. I also swore last time that I was going to change my setup and I did. And I filmed a ghostly story time video. And then I was like, nah, fuck it. Let's do another one. Let's just change the clothes and change the setup and all that groovy shit. And then I couldn't figure out what the fuck I did. It's possible. I know I can do it, but <clears throat> anyway, so half a ween -a -thon. Introduced from it was introduced to me by Alex Bookibus, um, but <laughs> it originates from Spinebreakers, and the idea is five particular books um, because it's halfway to Halloween. So, for me, book one: read a book and watch the movie adaptation. I'm finally gonna read Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Penbro. One of my very first videos, I talk about The Death House, um, which was the first of hers that I had read, and I wanna say that's a teen novel, so I've been curious ever since to see what else she has. So I'm, I've, I've been excited to read it, and then my dumb ass was like, no, I won't get it in the January book of the month box. I'll get it in the February, because I really, what did I really, I think I really wanted to get something else I don't remember anyway and then I like the Netflix trolled my ass and released that shit and then when I went to get it the next month it was all sold out just like Mexican Gothic when I, no that's right first I wanted Mexican Gothic sold out because of hype then I was like fine but I got cocky what was I thinking next thing I know I go to get freaking sold out because of the hype. What? I pounced on Honey Girl. So, <laughs> so I'll finally be reading that. I'm excited. I've heard good things and I so far only know good things about Sarah's writing. Number two, read a book about a monster. So I've been another author. This is just a bunch of shit that I've been meaning to read. That's really all this is. A bunch of shit that I've been meaning to read and Y'all gave me an excuse, thank you. Originally my idea for starting booktube, as I said in my newbie video, was mental health. <laughs> and really, it's just giving me an incentive to get this shit the fuck done and actually read this shit instead of looking at it because it's so pretty on my shelves. <laughs> read a book about a monster. I am going with Rolling in the Deep by Mary Grant. Um, the pen name. Um, but it appears to be a 0 0.5 book there's more um but like with anything including doctor who i gotta go all the way back to the beginning so it's it's about you know evil mermaids <laughs> that's really all i know how about i bring something up so i can because i got it on kindle it was published april 6 2015 104 pages let's see when the imagine network commissioned a documentary on mermaids to be filmed from the cruise ship Atargardus? Atargardus? What? Atargardus? They expected what they had always received before. An assortment of eyewitness reports that proved nothing. Some footage that proved even less. And the kind of ratings that only came from peddling imaginary creatures to the masses. They didn't expect actual mermaids. <laughs> they certainly didn't expect those mermaids to have teeth. Ooh. This is the story of the Atagratis. <laughs> Lost at sea with all hands. Some have called it a hoax. Others have called it a maritime tragedy. <laughs> Hella fucking intrigued by this. I don't know. It's been a very long time because they're, they're like you know folklore and shit like that so it's been a while so I'm really excited to get into this and I keep hearing Adele in my fucking head so gotta get that out of there thank you Windows is finally done updating you fuck okay anyway <laughs> read a horror book with a BIPOC author I have 
had a ton of firsts this year ever since joining booktube and doing these videos and it has been all good i like seriously not a single one of you have led me astray and i thank you you've led me to some really fucking cool authors and shit and this next person like all i've ever heard is are good things and i love what I, I like the positive vibes and stuff that i've been seeing on twitter and stuff so like usually when there's a lot of hype around something i kind of like hang out in the back a minute you know what i mean and just kind of let everyone have their fun and then when it kind of the clusterfuck eases up a bit then i just kind of you know i <laughs> just shoot this gonna my turn this shit um and uh that's what i did with mexican gothic i tried like i couldn't wait anymore okay i couldn't wait anymore it's gothic is in the title and you can see the shit up there i bought one of his books i had to buy two because these and more because there is a lot to read has have been hanging out in my tbr for a while now haven't they and i'm breaking that seal i broke it with Alyssa. i broke it with darcy i'm breaking it with stephen graham jones as well fam and i'm finally going to read the only good indie i'm so excited to get into stephen's work i want to say the first time I heard about him was mapping the interior. And I was like, I'm sorry, what? Okay. Boop, boop. And I managed to get a trade paperback copy of the Only Good Indian Indians. <sighs> Cover is very tactile. You guys weren't kidding. Oh my goodness. It could be a fidget toy. <laughs> they come in many different colors and sizes and they're wonderful. Anyway, so like I kind of sat there for a minute when I pulled it out of the packaging. I don't know how you guys can handle doing haul videos. Seriously, kudos, because I tear that shit open like Christmas morning. <laughs> I've been I've been tracking your ass. I am so happy to finally just take it. Scott, are you waiting for the package you just ordered? Maybe. It's the weekend. It won't ship until Monday at the earliest. You were and saying? then you can sit there and look pretty for a while, okay? Okay. Just breaking the seal, and we're going. And I'm... Oh, I'm really excited. But it's also up there, so why don't we just... It's a novel that is equal parts psychological horror and cutting social commentary on identity politics and the American Indian experience. Fans of Jordan Peele, I am so excited about Candyman. Holy shit, I did the best happy dance and almost peed myself when I saw it. Excuse me, yes. <laughs> Fans of Jordan Peele and Tommy Orange will love this story as it follows the lives of four American Indian men and their families, all haunted by a disturbing, deadly event that took place in their youth. Years later, they find themselves tracked by an entity bent on revenge, totally helpless as the culture and traditions they left behind catch up to them in a violent, vengeful way. Oh, you're gonna make me cry, aren't you, Steven? Ah, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> I hate crying. Everything makes me cry. God. I'm probably gonna start with that one. I'm just saying. <laughs> we don't have to start with number one on the list, right? <laughs> I wanna start with that one. All right, moving on. The number four, read a book with blood on the cover, fam. It's been up there for a minute too. The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. It is on. I've been wanting to read this. And I told myself that I have to read this before I am allowed to buy the new book. <laughs> so, so apparently it's Steel Magnolia meets Dracula in this 90 set horror novel about a women's book club that must do battle with a mysterious newcomer to their small Southern town. Perfect for murderinos and fans of Stephen King. Um, Patricia Campbell's life has never felt smaller. Her husband is a workaholic. Her teenage kids have their own lives. Her senile mother-in-law needs constant care. And she's always a step behind on her endless to-do list. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And just go back into that denial hole that I've been living in before this reminded me of all the shit I have to do. Anyway, the only thing keeping her sane is her book club. Hey. <laughs> 
a close-knit group of Charleston women united by their love of true crime. At these meetings, they're as likely to talk about the Manson family as they are about their own families. <laughs> One evening after book club, Patricia is viciously attacked by an elderly neighbor. bringing the neighbor's handsome nephew, James Harris, into her life. James is well-traveled and well-read, and he makes Patricia feel things she hasn't felt in years. But when children on the other side of town go missing, their deaths written off by local police, Patricia has reason to believe James Harris is more of a Bundy than a Brad Pitt. Oh, he looks like Brad Pitt. The real problem? James is a monster of a different kind, and Patricia has already invited him in. Little by little, James will insinuate himself into Patricia's life and try to take everything she took for granted, including the book club. But she won't surrender without a fight in this blood-soaked tale of neighborly kindness gone wrong. Something tells me that's gonna be a and done. Whew. Now we can move on to the next book and be on time. I don't know. We'll see how long it takes me. <laughs> Sometimes I'm really focused and like February mm, and then to March. Mm, but like, you know, in the last couple of days, listen, I don't mind. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't reading shit. <laughs> Number five, read a horror short story. Fam, what did I say? We're just, I'm just taking care of shit. I'm getting it done. That way I don't have to worry about it for the rest of the year. I think I'm also going to finish 20th Century Ghost. That's a really, whew, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'll read at least one though, <laughs> which is, you know, part for the course with that story. I like to just, you know, it's just been there. If you don't know, I've had this book since like 2014. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a collection of short stories by Joe Hill, right? And I just like to pick it up every now and then and just kind of, you know, read it. I think it's because of a story that made me cry. Dude, I, it made me bawl. I was, play, I was playing it cool, but it made me bawl. So there you have it. Those are my books for the Halloweenathon. Thank you to Spinebreakers for this shit. Thank you to Alex for bringing it to my attention. I love your shit. And I will see you later, fam. You take care. Please be safe. I mean it, okay? Just try. We just gotta try.